Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. We're out again on another wee walk, back for another wee chat. Here's my girl here. Hello, there you go, enjoying our walk. It's a nice morning, still a wee bit cold. But anyway, hope everybody's doing well. Come along with me for another wee chat, another wee walk along this beautiful trail here. I'm going to talk a wee bit today about rejection. You know, um, it's something we've all experienced, I've experienced it. And you know, it's a part of everyday life. But we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, ways to deal with it and how to manage it. So it can be very hurtful, you know, if you've been rejected or you feel like you're being rejected either from a group or could be a partner, someone's broke up with you or, you know, a friend, you know, it can leave you feeling very hurt, very unsure of what's happened and um, what tends to happen is we can beat ourselves up about it, you know, and think that there's something that we've done wrong. But you know, failure and disappointment are part of everyday life. And it's something that we have to come to terms with if we want to lead healthy lives. You know, a lot of times when things are going good, people don't want something to go wrong. You know, but like when we really look at things in reality, 80% of the time things are good and maybe it's just that 20% of the time when things go wrong but what we tend to do is focus and dwell on something when it goes bad in our life and if we're not careful it can dominate our thinking and even when things are going good again you're still thinking about that thing that's happened and maybe it's happened a long time ago. So I'm going to talk about how rejection is common. And it's really a common place in our everyday lives. But it's learning how to deal with it and understanding will make it a lot easier for you going forward. You know, So what I'm going to try and do is try and get you to see it not such a negative way. Sometimes, you know, there's an old saying that rejection is protection. In some instances, not always, but sometimes we can be in a situation and we're not stopping to consider that that thing is unhealthy for us. So sometimes it can be protection. And when you look down the line, you think, oh, I'm glad. But we don't always see it at the time, you know. Because sometimes it just wasn't intended to be. So you can feel rejected, you know, if a job offer falls through, you know, maybe you've asked someone out and you've got rejected and you're feeling like there's something wrong with you. Um, but it can affect us in such a deep way that it can actually stop us from pursuing goals because it consumes us, you know? And this is what we don't want to happen. We don't want it to consume us. We want to be able to look at it properly and in a healthy way. So unfortunately, it's something that you can't avoid. You know, it's natural, it's part of life. Handling it in a healthy way is the way forward. Try not to react with hostility through rejection negative thinking, beating yourself up, 
you know, self-criticizing or very important, try not to withdraw from others if you've been rejected, isolating yourself, okay? Try to step back from the situation and start to really sort of think about it. You can journal it down what happened, you know, in an honest way. Take a step back and then look at it. And then that'll sort of give you a more awareness of what really happened in the situation. And then you can start to analyze it and think, okay, did I play some part in this? Was there something that I could improve for next time? You know, so that um, I have a better experience the next time. So ask yourself, you know, when you've got that rejection or if you're going to journal it down, ask yourself what feelings came to mind. You know, did you feel angry? Did you feel resentful? Did you feel hostile? You know, did you feel hurt, guilt, sadness? Try to look at what you felt when that happened and try then to sort of take a look at that and name that emotion, name that feeling. And this will help you to try and understand, you know, what's really happening when um, you're taking rejection so badly. And um, try and silence that inner critic you know, I always say, become the observer. Stand back and look. Look at yourself from the outside as if you're analysing it from someone else. So a good way to do it is say someone came to you and they told you a story about being rejected. You would, you would talk to that person, but you wouldn't get emotionally drawn in. You would look at it just as an observer. You would look at it as an honest way and you would give valid, truthful analysis of the situation. So that's what you want to learn to do. So when you journal it down and you're reading it back, try to look at it like it didn't happen to you, that someone else is telling you this. And then you'll be able to see it in a more honest way, a more truthful way. And remember, you're not alone. Everyone faces rejection. Everyone deals with it. I've had jobs that I've applied for, been turned down. I've had friends that have rejected me. You know, I've had my heart broken. I've had partners rejected me. Groups rejected me. But I always try to be the observer and not bring it back to myself. But I always am honest in how I approach it. You know, I always try to look and see if there is anything that I have done that's contributed to it, but not beat myself up about it. Just think, okay, maybe I could have done that a bit better. And then I'll try and work on that for the next time. You know, and it's all about growing, learning and maturing. You know, and this is what helps us deal with these things. So the most important thing is that you try to learn from it. Try to understand that it's part of everyday life. And if you are getting hung up on it, then you need to start to ask yourself why. Sit down with yourself and say, okay, is there something in me, something that happened to me in my past that every time I get rejected, it's bringing this up? and maybe I've not been aware of it. Start to name the feeling, name the emotion, and then try to work on healing that. Because once you understand it and name it, it's 90% of solving it. All it is then is applying it, and that's it. You just apply it from then on, you know. Work on what you can do you know, and that'll help you in the future. And you've got to realize that it's not a lot of the time 
it's, it's sometimes we go into jobs and it's not the right job for us, but we think it is. Or maybe it's completely different reason to what you're imagining in your head as to why you got it rejected. You know, the same as if you go to ask a girl out, you see it as trial and error. See it as, okay, I went and I applied for that. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. How can I approve it in the future? And you move forward. You don't take it in and don't take it to heart, okay? So I hope that helps. If you need any more help, drop a, drop a wee comment and I'll try and do my best to um, answer them for you, all right? So until next time, take care. Bye.